So I've got over 300 miles on the uh, stock M1000R right now, and I noticed the intake air temperature readings, even while in six gear at 7,000 miles per hour, meaning at 6,000 miles, uh, sorry, 6,000 RPM, these flappers, the intake air flappers open, and they allow all the air into there. It was still, it's being 100 degrees on the, int uh, the intake air temperature sensor right now, and ambient is 84 at the moment. So 84 degrees to 100 degrees. So that's a huge difference, 16 degrees right there. That's pulling a lot of power out of the bike because the IET is sitting here on top of the air box, um, which is sitting on top of the engine. So that produces a whole bunch of heat that goes up and messes with the IET readings. Now, the reason why BMW put this here, the IET here, and they've done this since 2010, is so, I mean, it's real simple. I mean, this is so the bike reads when we're doing testing or when it's being tested for US sales. Um, it pulls a little bit of power to the bike, but has the potential to be moved and add power back into the motorcycle. Now we're up to 102, it's even rising from there. So what I'd recommend is of course the BT Moto Kit. I see other people um, or other tuners, stuff like that, they're offering the flappers open from the factory. I rode this bike for three over 300 miles and at one point I was at 7,000 RPM 30 minutes that means the flappers are open after 6,000 they're open for 30 minutes at 7,000 rpm I was riding this thing and it didn't get below 10 degrees above ambient so it's still reading 10 degrees higher than what it should be reading that's robbing you of power so when you get the flappers open you still need an IET kit to move the sensor from here all the way to the front of the bike there so you get true ambient when you get true ambient you get more power that means taking off from stop and go traffic it's gonna be less lazy a lot less lazy. I've noticed this bike was very lazy getting out of the traffic and I've been adjusting the clutch. Um, but uh, yeah, very lazy taking off. And uh, the BT Moto Flash and IET kit will fix that. So if someone's offering just the flappers open here, you've got a quarter of the solution here because still even with the 2010 through 2019 bikes in US, um, we never had a flapper in the front here and we still move the IET sensor. So don't just open the flappers and think your job's done. You gotta move the IET sensor or the flappers are useless. So just keep on doing it. Um, we offer that with the BT Moto Stage 1 and Stage 2. We can actually have the flappers open through software or we can physically remove them. Whoever wants to go more hardcore with the racing because of course, even if you leave them in there and they're open, you're still blocking a hair, a little bit of air. And if you don't care, then you don't care, not a big deal. But for the people that want every bit of power, you wanna remove all that stuff out of there and move the IET sensor. That's it guys, more on this later.